Alright, what's going on YouTube? You already know who it is and what it is. This is OG and we have some breaking news. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have Steve break the news. Go ahead, Steve. Break the news, man. Let us know what's going on in Arlington, Texas. Steve. Arlington police announced four arrests for last night's shooting that wounded two people at the Parks Mall in Arlington. Hello, I'm Steve Veeger. That shooting happened following apparently a fight over a girl. The gunfight led to a lockdown and evacuation of that mall. Police released mug shots for three of the suspects. The fourth suspect is in the hospital. Today, as the mall reopened, we learned one of the shooting victims was an innocent bystander. Fox 4's D Hold on one second. This dude name is Jaquees, Jaquees. So they named him. His first name is his last name, and his last name is his first name. And then the third suspect looked like Lil Wayne from 2006. I ain't mean to interrupt the feed, y'all. Let's keep going. Bystander. Fox Sports Dion England live in Arlington tonight with the latest developments. Dion. Hey there, Steve. That's right. A fight is what led to this mall shooting, and police say one of the two people struck was a woman who was shopping and had nothing to do with any of it. Less than 24 hours after gunfire inside the Parks Mall, shopping resumes. Perspectives from the parking lot to a view inside appear like a typical day. A stark contrast from Thursday night when more than 35 police units responded to the mall shooting scene. So I work actually at the Chick-fil-A in the Parks Mall. So at my, in my like work group chat, people were talking about it. Investigators quickly determined it was not a random active shooter situation, but rather an isolated fight between two groups of teens who did not know each other. However, one individual tried to talk to another's girlfriend. The whole entire incident was over something as simple as just, just speaking with this female subject. And uh, one of the individuals did not like that the group was speaking to his girlfriend. Investigators say the violence started on an escalator. A 17-year-old pointed a gun at an 18-year-old, hit him with it, but then lost control of it. During that process, the 17-year-old dropped the firearm, and the 18-year-old male who was originally hit with the firearm picked up that firearm and shot and fired around at the 17-year-old male. 17-year-old male was shot in the arm, and a female who was nearby and not involved in the incident was shot in the foot. Police say two teens were arrested for fighting in public. The injured 17-year-old who was shot in the arm is charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police say the 18-year-old who shot him ran away and wasn't located until Friday morning. He was located in Mansfield at his parents' house and he was arrested this morning uh, with uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. Meantime, police presence at the Parks Mall is increased. As All right, man. Good thing. I, I, first off, let's start off by saying it's a good thing that nobody was critically injured during this altercation. Secondly, what I keep saying about these young males, why y'all so sensitive? Not even that. Y'all different. First of all, I'm going to say you disrespectful. Because you know you out of pocket for trying to talk to somebody else, girl, especially while she right there with him. Out of pocket, just straight disrespectful. And then secondly, y'all just walk around looking for trouble, man. Like y'all ain't got nothing better to do. That's a nice mall on top of that. But uh, yeah, man, come on, man. Like people can't have nice things or have nice places to go to because you won't have some hooligans on some dumb stuff. Like, come on, man, y'all gotta use y'all head, bro. Now, you done got an aggravated assault charge. It could have been, uh, shoot, probably attempted murder somewhere up in there. But you pointing guns at people on the escalator, hitting them over the head. Like, what's really going on out here? This is not Grand Theft Auto. You feel me? Like, y'all gotta do better as a generation, man, because y'all just looking lost in the salt. And we need y'all to boss up and be men, young men. 
You know what I'm saying? Be respectful. Be res be respectful and respect respect other people and they space. And that didn't happen today. Nobody's space was respected. It was actually violated. And then you just proceeded to disrespect somebody by talking to his girl right in front. Like people do dumb stuff like that. Like it's nothing funny about that. That's actually immature. And then y'all shooting in the open mall at that. Baby girl got shot in the foot. Luckily, it wasn't a fatality. You know what I'm saying? So, let that be a lesson. Uh, men, women, I say, that's why I say, it's, as a matter of fact, it's very important for men. I, I don't know if they have, they, uh, these kids had their fathers in their life, but it's very important that men being their children lives and guide them in the right direction, put them on that right path in life. So hopefully things like this do not occur there, you know, to the point where they actually hang with the right group of people because it sounded like they was all in, they was all on the same program. So they need to get reprogrammed and um, find a better way to go about their lives, man, because they just wasting time and they creating these opportunities where people can actually get hurt, man. Nah. And then you could possibly get, have your life just taken from you just like that in a blink of an eye. Just like somebody's life can be taken from them in a blink of an eye. All they was doing is shopping in the mall. Nobody want to go outside and have to be a part of your boo, you know. So let that be a lesson to y'all. Young men, young women, uh, adults, whatever. Especially when you're dealing with firearms. This is not, it's, it's supposed to be something that protects you. You, you, you yourself and your family uh, not to conflict harm on somebody just because you feel like you can um, and like don't talk to people's girl man like that's just straight disrespectful um, that's really all I got to say about this topic right here I'm just glad it was no fatalities um, y'all gotta do better man y'all wasting a lot of time man and uh Y'all making yourselves look bad, making family look bad, and then even that the the primary suspect, what did he do? He ran home. Like an adolescent, like a kid, like a juvenile. You ran home thinking somebody was gonna protect you. Like that was a safe haven, like that was a good place to go hide. Like somebody snitched or the camera got a good angle of you. Instead of just taking your lick and sitting down, you ran home. But anyways, man, this is OG. Uh, we just breaking a little bit of news. Um, hopefully you get some kind of wisdom from this message here. Um, stay out the way, man. Stay at home. Play Call of Duty or something. Go read a book. Matter of fact, go read a book. Um, say no to guns. We got to find a way to de-escalate this whole situation with artillery, uh, firearms. Stay away from the guns, man. Y'all shouldn't even have guns. Um, Y'all underage at that. How do they get the guns? It's a lot of questions that need to be asked about this whole situation. But anyways, man, this is Life with OG. 